All right, this is Liberty Stock number 50260. It's a multi-finish model MFD350i uh, drag finisher, 12 cubic foot, serial number 638. It has a Siemens touch panel controller. Okay. Right. The rest the is on open, you. Yeah. Move in on it, and we get the door open. So there's some media in there now. Of course, we have no parts, no spindle. So, but we can come down pretty low on this program. And we'll run two different programs. This one is a seven minute reversal. The other program I run is one minute. So we do have some you know, media in there, but we have no spindle. So it comes close to there. But we can run a full auto cycle on here. You can show here, we got the back doors open too. Yeah, they call it uh, six satellite heads and uh, four fixture heads. Exactly. Hard capacity, 24 per batch. East up on this side, uh, water connection down low. Here's the back end, kind of show it. I can open the doors. For the sake of our auto cycle, I jumped around the switches so we can have this open. Here's the back end, water system again. Our mixer and the spindles, of course, which goes without saying. And then, of course, uh, you'll see that better when we run, so don't put too much time here. When I run it, you can get a good look at that full drive system. Chiller down low, that's about all. And then the control panel right next to it. Siemens controller, S7, we're temped in down low, 400 volts, my three phase, that yellow cord, that's me. Free drive, spindle drive, that's pretty much it. Disconnect, e-stop, we're all good to go here. That's the front page right here. And we got some alarms, of course. It shows that the door is open, which is normal. We we'll go back home and uh, you've got services. Pick language, do it. a couple other tools that are on this page here. Main page being, of course, is Bowl One. Several different programs <coughs> already in here. With the one that's highlighted, we'll do right now. Seven minutes reversal. We won't go through that whole thing, but it does go down 400 millimeters. So we we come on, we come into the media even with the agitator. Anyhow, we're on for a minute or two on this one, and then I'll move up to that test program right there. Load that, and we'll run for a minute or two with that. And you can watch the reversal. That is a one minute reversal on that program. So that said, if you pull back, I have to reset out of here. Let me go uh, back home, and we close this up. Reset back out of the e-stop condition, which we had previous. That's happy. Go back home. Go into bowl one, which is the uh, menu for all the uh, different programs. And I'm just going to hit cycle start, basically. We're good to go here. And all the different parameters are there. How far it goes in, in immersion depth, lift interval, down interval, reducing speed, 20 RPM. Feed speed and then and then actual speed within the with, for the parts 27 RPM. They're all basic all parameter settings that are part of the program. So I'm gonna hit start. We can start here. Then you can walk around and look at the back end too. Okay. Here we go. It's gonna feed down. Better off in the back really. So while it's still feeding down, take a look in back. This is feed speed. The feed speed when it hits depth, then it goes a little bit faster for run speed. Now you can see the upper end, main drive system. Now it's 
faster. You can move in. We are moving some media just with the agitator. If you look close. cycle finish would look. It slows down, pulls out slowly, and parks itself home. This should be a different cycle. It won't go quite as far, but after one minute it'll reverse. It should, if I've got it right here, which I think I do. Let's see. It's a little bit slower approach, I think. This one's running a little bit slower. So we're not really hitting any media here, but now after one minute, at least we can watch the reversal, and then I'll, I'll send it back home. Thank you. Yeah, we're there. 